Hey guys, welcome to Trade Smart with Gerard. In this ninth video, I'm going to be talking about what is Hail Mary Supply Zone. So the most important thing that you guys need to understand and learn today is about the marking of Hail Mary Supply Zone. What is this? So let's get into it. It is a supply zone where sellers are in the zone. So our job is to look for the zones where sellers are in control. You know, this, these areas are also areas where sell-off are most likely to happen as well. If you guys actually notice, all the sales would happen from the supply zone above. And the buyers would happen in all the demand zones above. So when price is in the demand zone, it will be on the buys. When price rejects, it will fly all the way up to the supply zone. So today, our job is to understand the marking of Hail Mary Supply Zone. So far, I hope you guys can follow whatever that I'm uh, teaching to you guys. And the goal for today is I want you guys to be able to understand what is a supply zone. If that is possible, I want you guys to check that for tonight. Next, I want you guys to be able to mark the Hail Mary Supply Zone. Why is this important? Because it's part of finding a complete SOP. If you guys are good at finding supply zones, you guys can look for trades of 20 to 40 pips just by yourself trading. Alright, so let's get into it. What is a supply zone? You guys need to understand that supply happens when you have an engulfing cell that meets with an engulfing cell. So when this thing happened, you would get a candle stick that looks like this. The first sell that happened over here and then price made a breakout over here and then made a pullback into the seller's zone over here, right? Then we're going to make it a box like this. So we have our first engulfing one zone, which price needs to come back into the zone. It needs to close as bearish engulfing in this zone. So what happens is that price close as a bearish engulfing over here and we have our confirmed area of supply. This is a, a strong area but not the strongest area. I'm teaching you step by step. Alright? So we go one by one, not straight to the top. This is because that is, it's important for you guys to understand the basic things that we are talking about first. If you guys don't understand what is supply, how am I going to talk to you about fail Mary setups, for example? So, step by step. Next, when you have identified a supply zone from different time frames. So remember, the time frames that we're going to be focusing on for supply zones is only from H4 daily, weekly, and monthly. This is the only four time frames that we will be focusing on looking for supply zones. Clear? Next. So the next step is the marking of the zone. So let's get into it. The marking of, of the zone is the most important thing that you guys need to focus on. So make sure that you guys are focused in watching this segment of the video because this is the only video that I'm doing to show of the marking of this engulfing supply zone. Okay, you guys have this as your high, right? This is going to be the high of your bearish candle or your engulfing number one. Let's call it engulfing number one. This is your high. Next, as soon as price comes into the zone, it closes as a bearish engulfing so this is going to be engulfing number two over here so what happened is that today i will be teaching you on how to be marking the zones the only zone that you need to mark is the highest zone between engulfing one and engulfing two so which is the higher zone so the higher zone is definitely this high over here right so you, you just take your ruler and you're just going to mark it like this and you're going to open it all the way to the opening of engulfing number two. So you're going to make this as your supply zone for whatever time frame. H4, weekly, daily, 
or even monthly. Are you guys clear? Hail Mary Supply Zone. Remember that, guys. Hail Mary Supply Zone. This is quite an important key level that you guys need to be aware of. Alright, so that's how we mark the supply zones. Let's get into the charts. Okay guys, so this is going to be the continuation video of the Hail Mary supply zone. So let's get into it. First, our job is to be looking at where is the first engulfing cell to engulfing cell. So this is our first engulfing candle and price made a breakout and it next closed as an engulfing cell over here. As you guys can see, there was a gap so this candle over here should have opened right beside the green candle. So the red candle should have been like this, making it an engulfing cell, right? So what we do is that today I'll be focusing on marking this Hail Mary supply zone for you guys. As always, the highest zone for this uh, particular candle is over here. And sorry, it's over here. Can you guys see? at 1.4 and the next zone that we have is the opening of engulfing number two so we're gonna mark it like this so that would become your supply zone this is not really a strong zone but i'm just sharing with you that it is potentially rejection to happen in that zone called supply hail mary zone so as you guys can see price rejected in into this supply zone and it rejected down all the way all right so this is going to be the first example. I'll be showing you guys the next example over here. Let's try and look for any cell setups around here. All right, I found another one. This is an engulfing cell. So I'm gonna make it a zone like this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for an another engulfing cell that is created in this zone. So I'm gonna mark this as my engulfing cell. Remember, Take the highest zone of the supply area of engulfing number one. We're gonna mark it like this. And the next thing is put it at the opening of your engulfing number two. So this is the opening for your engulfing number two. So you have your Hail Mary supply zone over there. So as you guys can see, price rejected and came into the zone and fell down all the way, continue dropping and dropping all the way down. So supply zone does work but this is not the real confirmation it's important for you guys to know what is supply and demand zones but make sure you guys understand this before learning the whole sop okay next let's look at the next supply zone this is an engulfing cell right we're gonna make it a zone like this price needs to come back into our engulfing zone it needs to close as an engulfing cell. As soon as this happens, you have your supply zone. So how do you mark it? Simple, you're just gonna put a line at the highest point of your engulfing number one. And the next thing that you're gonna see is where is the highest point for engulfing number two? For this case, it is over here, right? So we're gonna use the highest zone and we're gonna remove this and place it on the engulfing two opening. So as you guys can see, this is our latest supply Hail Mary zone, all right? Price rejected in here, and then it dropped all the way from the supply zone. So you guys can do the back test and let me know what you guys think about it. And thank you for watching.